Paul Warren Voorhees was born December 17, 1875, to 30-year-old James and 33-year-old Jenny. He was born and raised in Plymouth, Michigan, attending Plymouth High School and graduating in 1893 along with six other students. After high school, Voorhees attended the University of Michigan, getting a Bachelor's of Letters in 1898. He continued his education at the University of Michigan, graduating in 1900 with a Bachelor's of Law. After graduation from Michigan, he was admitted to the bar and practiced for a short time at the private firm in Erie County, New York. After a few years, Voorhees returned to Michigan and became a secretary of the Plymouth Cannon School District. His first meeting being October 31st of 1906, he worked as a secretary for just under six years, his final me meeting being July 15th, 1912. Voorhees quickly got a job in the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office, working and helping with many cases. Later in his career, Voorhees ran and won the election for Wayne County Prosecutors twice, serving from 1921 to 1925. After serving his second term in one of the busiest counties in Michigan, Voorhees accepted a job as a special assistant to the Attorney General in Lansing. Working around five years under Wilbur M. Brucker, Voorhees ran as a Republican for the position of Attorney General. He won the election and served in Lansing from 1931 to 1933. Voorhees had his first of two children at the age of 41 after 14 years of marriage in the year of 1916. He and his wife decided to name their baby girl Pauline. Two years later, the couple had another daughter and named her Jean. Around this time, Paul and Faye had hired Mary Kaiser to live in and help around the house in Detroit. She was born in Ohio and worked for a small wage for the Voorhees family. After the girls were off to college, Mary Kaiser moved out and the Voorhees couple lived on Longfellow Road in northwestern Detroit which is now called Royal Oak. When Paul finished his law career, he held chairs of many committees such as Kresge Foundation, President of the First Federal Savings and Loan Association of Detroit, Chairman of the Board and Director of Plymouth United Statement Banks, and Trustee of Albion College. Some of the big cases he was involved in as an Attorney General were the people of the state of Michigan versus Katherine Keller. Katherine Keller was charged as the killer of Harry Lord and three other young residents of Washtenaw County. Another case is Errol Smith v. Voorhees. George Errol Smith was born and raised in Great Britain and moved to the United States to pursue his American dream. He is a contractor who hires himself and other people of foreign birth as employees. While working in 1931, an act passed through Congress called a Bill of Defining a Legal Resident of this State. In this bill, it was stated that no undesirable aliens shall be employed. This caused Aerosmith to lose some of his employees and resulted in him losing his business.